Hey everybody, Tim Norris here, aka Gray Elephant. And Carmen Norris. And welcome to a quick review by Gray Elephant Gaming. Today we're going to be talking about Samurai. We just did finish the live play, and speaking of that, it's right here. Click on that, you're going to be able to see how the game plays out in fake and artificial time. Real time. Real time. We just talked about that in the live play. Um, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to make references to that live play, and uh, we're going to give our thoughts of... What we think <laughs> of the game. Of the game. Thoughts of what we think of the game. That's our little thing. You guys know that. That's our slogan. Uh, <laughs> I, I make one it's, little slip up one time. <laughs> no, no, no. It, no. Okay, it wasn't just one time. Multiple <laughs> times. I make one little slip up 20 times in, in, in six weeks. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the game we just finished up. Um, now you feel like you made one little mistake there at the end that possibly I cost did. you the game. It possibly cost me the game, but you were able to... In the game, you probably could have ended the game before I had a chance to grab those anyway. Possibly. So, you don't know. Yeah. I mean, that's the beauty of the game is you just never know what tiles your opponent still has behind their screen. Now, when it gets close to the end of the game, you can sit there and you can look at the board and you can say, well, right. I know she has the exact uh, tiles that I have. And that's what he's so. good at. I don't... I my brain doesn't process things quickly. My brain so don't work on I don't that. really <laughs> I don't really calculate what my opponent has going on typically. <laughs> well but you know, we both have won at this. It's not like I've won every single game. No, that's I mean true. it's it is a game of planning and strategy, and one of the things that I realized in um, some of our earlier games is that you and I, in our early games, we used to really congregate in one section. Right. And, and it was funny because... I think that's one thing that was a little different about this game that made, me, uh, made it a little harder for me, was that I was like, well, we don't have to fight over this, why don't I just go over here and, you know, then... I don't yeah. even have to fight him for it. And I think that's that, that's what's cool about the game is that, yeah, you can, in a way it's kind of like if your opponent, if you feel like that they have secured one of the casts, it's like, don't place tiles around that cast. All you're doing is just helping them. All you're them doing is helping them. Finish that's what I the did. Yeah. That was one mistake that I made. And, and that's the thing. You kind of almost want to spread out more and um, try to um, be all across the board as much as you can. And plus, you want to as best as you can place your, your powerful, you know, like four commerce yeah. cast, you know, tiles between... Or, or the three samurai. Yeah, or the three samurai in, in a position where they're going to be able to influence the most, mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, get the most value for you. So, as you can see, the game, what I like about a lot is that... Um, you're not necessarily moving my tiles. Now, you do have the one tile that allows you to move a cast, but I've got right. that as well, which means I could have moved it back. Right. Um, but it's not like you're saying, well, I'm going to place my tile here and move your tile way over there. But you're not really taking things yeah. away from your opponent. Exactly. It's yeah. kind of like what I placed on the board, it stays on the board. Now, things could possibly move a little bit and change it a little bit, but not so dramatic that I feel like it cost you the game. You know what right. I mean? Right, so it plays more like a, a worker placement type Euro game than it than it plays like a, a dudes on the map type deal. You know, yeah. you're not really after your opponent. Now, how do you feel the luck factor? Because, I mean, you are drawing tiles, and you're trying to get... Sometimes you really want to get a certain tile, like I wanted to get the one where I could swap the casts back. Right. It still worked out well for me, though. Because yeah. I was still able to use it and, and still um, gain an advantage because of it. It just wasn't in the exact way that I wanted. I, I don't... Personally, I get really angry about the luck factor. And I feel like it doesn't really play into this game a whole lot. Um, I mean, sometimes you can get lucky and draw the tile at the right time, but... You know you have that tile. At some point in the game, you're going to be able to use it. Mine yeah. was the second to the last. The lap may switch and cast back. Yeah. It took me the entire yeah. game to get to well, that. It, well, <laughs> and to be honest, though, it's kind of better to have it later in the game because then you... Yeah, you, have, you got a more feel of what's going on on the yeah, board. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and especially it, it played well into the strategy we were playing out because both you and I did kind of spread out a little bit more across mm -hmm. the board, so it gave me a lot more options. Um, right. This is probably one of the longer games that we've had in this um, because a lot of times it seems like that uh, somebody will gobble up one of the uh, casts quickly and then it's like, oh, well, all seven are off the board and bam, that just ended the game. Yeah. Um, this is the one where I felt like it could have come down probably to the very last, you know what I mean? Uh, each one of them just having one but cast. You had to end it. I had. 
I knew I had the win, and that was the thing. <laughs> I knew I had the victory at if that point. If he didn't end it, I might have been able to get the military. If I hadn't mm -hmm. made that mistake, I made that mistake, which really <laughs> did screw ever, up everything anyway, <laughs> so I wasn't going to win after that. Hey. So overall, what is your opinion of the game? Uh, I really enjoy it. It's a strategic game, but it's not a huge brain burner for me to where, you know, uh, some, some games I enjoy, but I have to really be in the right mood for them, which doesn't come along very often. Yeah. I'm a tired mom. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this game, uh, I really enjoyed it because I do like strategic games, but I don't quite have the brain for the really heavy ones, you know? Not always, Yeah. Right. And uh, I like it a lot. I think, um, you know, this is a reprint of an older version. Um, so, I mean, it's not like this is the brand new game. It's been out for a mm. while. Um, but I think Fantasy Flight did a fantastic job on this uh, reprint. The, uh, the pieces look phenomenal. It does play up to four players. So, I mean, you can, and it does expand on the board, the map. It gets bigger and bigger. So, um, you know, I would love to sit down and play a four-player game of this and, and see how that plays out. And I think that would even be more mind-boggling and challenging because, yeah. you know, it, it's, sometimes it's hard for me to process what colors are around the board because our pieces are the same. It's just the uh, color, the number. It's that's, that's a little color, different. And, and like, especially the boats. Yeah. Because the, the boats are the hardest. Blue yeah. On all of them. They yeah. Know. And that, that throws me off a little bit. Uh, outside of that, I think the game plays out just phenomenal. I like it an awful lot. I mean, there's a reason they reprinted it. And, yeah. uh, and I think it's uh, one that, uh, you know, we're going to keep I in really our enjoy the genre. I think we have um, a lot of games that are similar. And this is not. I feel like it's unique, so it belongs in our collection. Yeah, and I think it's one that her and I will sit down and play as a two-player game more often than, you know, some of the other games that we have, like, you know, the more meatier ones that, that she was referring to. The games like this get played quick a lot because they play so fast, and, and like she said, they don't tax you as hard as some of the other ones. And, and it's a quick setup, it's a quick breakdown, and it's a lot of fun. So, a lot of fun to look at, a lot of fun so to play. So, if you're so. looking for an another abstract, strategic type game, I would definitely recommend this one. There you go. So, there you go. We will say thumbs up on this one. But, 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 you should never take our opinion for it. What should they do. You should watch our live play. That's right. Click on that link. You'll go over and check out the live play. And you're going to see who was the greatest samurai in all feudal Japan. <laughs> was it her or was it this guy that has two thumbs? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.